music and I'm going to show you this amazing Gibson Les Paul standard. Now this is second hand, it's got a couple of signs of uh, wear and tear but nothing major. Basically just a couple of dings on the back, uh, there's, uh, there's, uh, yeah, there's a little dit just here and there but nothing on the, the body, on the top at all. Uh, a few hairline scratches on the headstock. I'll, uh, I'll take some pictures, click the link in the bio, head over to the website, and you can have a bit uh, more of a further in-depth look there. All right, so I'll just tell you about this. It's 2010, all right. Uh, Gibson made changes 2008. They changed these Alnico V humbucking pickups. We've got less winds in the neck and uh, higher output in the bridge. All right, what else is there? We've got locking tuners on the back there, and also a locking jack socket. So once it's in, there's no way it's coming out. If you stand on your cable on stage, and I've done that a couple of times, very embarrassing. It's not gonna happen. You just push in the, uh, this little red plastic bit there and pull out your cable. All right, so tell you about the wood. As you can see, it's the nicest finish certainly that I've ever seen. Uh, the, the ones, the original ones, 59, 60, 61, they called it no burst because originally there were some burst and then all the, the uh, color faded around the edge. Hence, no burst. So we've got solid mahogany body, but it is chambered, so it's, it's lightweight. Well, I say lightweight, it's not light, but compared to most Les Pauls, it is. I own a custom myself, and it's a lot lighter than that. It's, yeah, chambered mahogany with a flame maple top, as you can see. We've got mahogany neck with a rosewood fretboard. Now, the neck is not 50s and it's not 60s. It's a mixture of both. Uh, it's handcrafted. It's, I'm going to say it's, it's chunky, but it's not. I mean, a 50s neck is chunky. A 60s neck is slim. It is somewhere in between. It's, uh, it's very, very comfortable indeed. Uh, right, so. What else can I tell you? It comes with Gibson hard case and we've got all the signed documents as well. So uh, there's no problems there whatsoever. Okay, the strings are, uh, yeah, I've not restrung it, but it, it, it has uh, come to us like this. It's had one previous owner, it's never been gigged. The strings are in really good condition. There's no rust anywhere up or down the neck. It won't be going on display, this guitar. As soon as I've uh, finished this video, it's back in its hard case. I don't think it's gonna uh, stick around, <laughs> around too long. I'm certainly tempted myself, but, well, I can't do that. <laughs> I can't justify it. Anyway, so I'll play you a, a little bit on clean uh, and I'll put it onto overdrive. The amp is a Boss Katana. Uh, 50 mark 2. All right. <laughs>
the, the warmth, the richness, the sustain, absolutely brilliant. So I'll just play some open chords. We're on the uh, rhythm uh, pick up here. <laughs> just in the center so it's not massively distorted but it'll give you an idea of, of how this Gibson Les Paul comes alive all right <laughs> Fantastic! The sustain is phenomenal uh, for a, you know a lightweight guitar, just weighing over seven pounds, chambered. It's still a Les Paul. Fantastic! So yeah, it's used standard, 2010. Comes with its own hard case, original documents of the lot. It's in near perfect condition. Click the link in the bio. Head over to the website. Uh, yeah, add to basket. And this is yours. Nice one. Thanks a lot for listening. And I'll see you again very soon. Cheers. See you later. Bye-bye.